First, export your garments from Marvelous Designer as an OBJ. Remember to export two meshes, the 3D simulated mesh and the 2D arrangement version. In the export settings dialog choose single mesh, unwelded and thin. Then, import the OBJ files into Maya. Using the quad draw tool, start tracing the new topology onto the 2D arrangement mesh as seen here. Always remember that the different patterns will connect eventually, so keep a consistent number of loops in every part of the garment. Start with a low resolution mesh, and you can add more polygons later. In this case, the garment is symmetrical. That's why I'm working only on the right half. When ready, you can duplicate the retopologized mesh, flip it horizontally, and merge both meshes. Now, the critical part. After finishing the retopology of the garment, make a blend shape between the two meshes from Marvelous Designer so that the 2D arrangement takes the shape of the 3D mesh. Then, apply a wrap deformer to the new retopologized mesh so it follows the 2D arrangement geometry's deformation. When you enable the blend shape, the new mesh will take the shape of the simulated garment. Now, you can continue working on cleaning the geometry even further and connecting the meshes where needed. Then, it's time to create the UVs. I created some bevels following the Marvelous Designer inner lines to have extra details in the garment. I quickly brought the mesh into ZBrush to adjust some shapes, then return to Maya. Let's make some final adjustments on the meshes and UVs. Then, we will be done with this part of the process. In T-Part, I added thickness to the meshes, fixed some geometry issues and kept cleaning the UVs. It looks like we are nearly finished. And here is the character rendered in Marmoset with some quick textures made in Substance Designer. Remember to subscribe to the channel to see the following videos on this series. Thank you for watching.